Well, hello and welcome to another OmniEd Brief. My name is Sean Smith, and for this short few minutes, we're going to take a look at learning spaces, particularly in terms of those necessary supplies for that hybrid and fully online learning. Now, of course, when we go face-to-face, -face, when we're still at home, when we're a variety of things, there's a number of things that come into play. Overall, you may think organization. Yes, but a little bit more. First of all, at the beginning of any school year, we receive lists. We receive lists of supplies that we'll necessarily need for not only August, September, October, but very well potentially in March. Now, with a hybrid fully online that we're experiencing right now, we're also getting things from school districts. We're getting things from not only an individual teacher, but the school. We're getting things from other organizations. We're getting ideas and lists from the state. And so take a look at some of these. Don't get overwhelmed, but weed through it. As an educator, we might identify certain things. We might combine some of those elements. And of course, as parents and family members, it would be looking at a variety of these things to make sure we're ready. And then we might want to chunk things as we organize the necessary supplies. We see things in units. We see things in terms of lessons. And so some of these materials that we don't necessarily need, we may store off into another section. And those daily things for, let's say, this week or the next couple weeks, they become more of a priority. And maybe they're in the kitchen. Other things are in the storage area, maybe even in the garage while we're waiting. Now, back to that weekly thing, we may start looking at our Sundays, and we should, as, yes, days of rest, days of uh, worship, how we practice our Sundays, but also days to get organized for that week. So it might be pulling out the necessary supplies. It might be exchanging necessary supplies from last week for this coming week and a host of other things. One of the advantages of that hybrid blended learning or that fully online learning is the fact that oftentimes we'll know what's coming for that next week, unlike maybe the full face-to-face. -face. But also, we need to organize the home. And as I mentioned that earlier, it could be everything from organizing our pens and pencils, just putting them in the kitchen cabinet, to using Tupperware a different way, to making sure our devices are decluttered in terms of their desktops. Now, of course, we could go to HDTV or Oprah or all sorts of different other magazines and, and shows to work about, oh, how to organize your home. But it could be simply as you're done with your headphones, you put them back in your case. Oh, and recharging? It may be at the end of the day that not only do we recharge for the next day, but also we might take them out of our bedrooms, keep them away from us from a distraction perspective. Once the day is done, learning's done, it might be a nice thing to avoid that technology. But also in terms of organization, as I mentioned before, it might be putting some material there where we're working in our bedroom or in the kitchen and the other material that we don't necessarily need for that week in another spot. But it also could be color coding things. It could be organizing things from not only folders, but it could be baskets, it could be paper, it could be a variety of other ways. So the, the list goes on in terms of organizing those needed supplies. So those are a few ideas. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to return back to OmniEd Briefs at any time. We cover lots of different topics. And of course, visit OmniEd.org for much more materials on meeting the needs of all learners in our schools today.